Okay, today I'm going to show you how to thoroughly clean a U-Matic three-quarter inch tape player. Uh, these tape players were made in the 70s and 80s and used by a lot of commercial people. And uh, they actually had a home VCR version, which is the one you're looking at right now. But I'm going to show you how to thoroughly clean it. There are some videos out there on how to just uh, clean it uh, not so thoroughly, just quickly. But I'm going to show you how I taught myself how to thoroughly clean this. Now, contrary to what people say, you can use this um, isopropyl alcohol and you can use one of your masks that you have used for COVID over the years. Uh, the fibers don't come off so they're pretty good to clean with and you're going to get a deep cleaning into the grooves here to get all of the oxidation out of it. So what you do first is you can see the head spinning here and there are about 12 grooves in that head um, on the side. Now there's a, a main head that actually reads it and that's in the gap if you can see it right here. Halfway down there is a small little head that actually reads the tape and then there's gaps uh, little grooves about 12 of them in the top of the aluminum head here that also trap dirt. So what you do is uh, take your mask like this and spray a little isopropyl alcohol on it and then put your finger in it like this so that your fingernail can come out and then you press it up against this um, head while it's spinning. Now, what you can do is um, turn the tape player on, which would, you know, if you have a regular professional tape player, you'll have to take the top off and remove the circuit boards and put them back so you can see the spinning head. This is a home version, so it just had one service panel here that I took off, and the head is spinning. Um, you can put, um, you can uh, press the eject button on this machine and it keeps the head spinning. So with the head spinning, you take your finger, put it in inside the mask here, and then rub it with so your fingernail gets into the groove of each one of the 12 grooves on here. Now, after you use, um, if the tape is, uh, you know, deposited a lot of oxidation on the head, you may have to do this up to sometimes 10 times. And you can see right there where the dirt comes off. I've cleaned this already um, a few times, so it's fairly clean. But the enemy of these machines is the Ampex tape. Sony and some of the other brands were pretty good, but this Ampex tape was notorious for having sticky shed syndrome. And that sticky shed syndrome was just the tape um, coming off, uh, tape particles coming off of the tape surface onto the head. It's called a U-matic because it makes a U-shape around when it's reading the tape. And there's a lot of friction on here, so the tape has to be fairly smooth. And when they were produced, they have a smooth kind of coating on them. But as time went on and, and with these Ampex tapes, um, moisture got into them and then add some heat to it and then add some more moisture to it and you came up with this sticky surface and it was called sticky shed syndrome because it would shed the particles off on here and then get stuck. Now there's about eight cap stands in here, plus it goes around the head. So there's a whole bunch of different friction points that this thing hits when it goes around. So there's a lot of um, there's a lot of room for this thing to shed its um, its oxidation uh, particles onto this head. So again, what you do is you spray it and then rub it along the head like this with your fingernail in the groove. Okay, all the way up. Now, obviously you don't want to press it hard enough so that the head stops. You want to keep the head going and then you'll see it. Now you keep doing this until you see no more oxidation coming off on the mask. Okay, once you do that, then you can take a piece of paper, regular piece of notebook paper like this, and fold it up. Now you can clean the actual head that's in the groove here. It's a deeper groove. You can wet it like this, fold it up tight so you've got a nice ridge on it right here, like that and then you'll insert it in that bottom groove and you can hear it, it's hitting that metal head reader. And then you can take it back off and see. Now there's nothing on here, it's, it's fairly clean. Well this one's a little bit dirty, but... Um, you rub it for a second and if it comes off clean then you know you've got everything off. Now, the old school guys also would tell you that you'd clean the heads like this. Now, uh, when you do it with a piece of paper on the outside, it just cleans the surface and gets the dirt off of it. Now, after you do the deep cleaning, you want to take this paper and just do a surface cleaning, which is fold it up like this, hold it near the bottom, and that sound that you hear, it's hitting the actual head on the bottom layer of this um, cylindrical device. 
and then you pull it all the way up like this slowly till it comes off and then you look on here and you'll see some of the oxidation that you cleaned in the grooves is still on the head so you're going to do this a couple more times until you don't see any more oxidation then you'll know it's fairly clean now there's still a little bit on there but the paper does kind of a nice job on the surface of it and it doesn't leave any fibers in there okay and then once you've done that the head is fairly clean now the other thing you want to do once you clean the heads is you want to clean the cap stands and the pinch rollers and the way to do that is to take a tape and uh, put it in and this tape's not good so those Ampex tapes also you can tell they're bad when you put them in they don't quite fit they're warped or they're so when you put the tape in it just uh, loads it and it pulls the cap stands out and the pinch rollers and what you want to do on these is um, you want to pull the tape off gently make sure you look at it and see how the tape goes on these on these cap stands you pull the tape off and then you want to clean off and uh, by the way turn the machine off before you do it and then you're going to take your mask and you're going to squirt a little bit of um, isopropyl on it and you will clean these cap stands now there's one two three four five six seven eight and then there's a spinning one here nine ten here and then the audio heads are over here so you want to give them a quick clean you don't need to do a lot you just need to rub up and down because the tape is winding around these cap stands and it you know a little bit wears off um, this particular cap stand here on all these umatics is the tensioning device so that one really it makes a hundred and eighty or almost a two hundred and seventy degree turn around that one so you want to clean that one thoroughly these other cap stands you just rub it where it is where the tape hits it um, on this one I'm going to take it off clean it quickly and then put the tape back on exactly how it is you want me to put the tape back on because when you go to eject it if it's not the tapes not on the way that it was um, you'll have problems with the tape when it comes out okay and then on this side there are the the audio heads they're stationary they won't have much oxidation on them but you want to clean them anyways there's one more cap stand on the other side of the head over here and then there's a tiny thin one right here you want to clean that off and then you also have just so you can see this this is the um, pinch roller right here and that gets dirty too that gets oxidation on it so you want to clean that and you'll see when you pull off that you'll see the the darkness on there just need to clean that a couple of times you don't need to sit and keep scrubbing it otherwise you'll keep taking the black uh, coloring off of it roll it around with your finger and and rub it up and down to just uh, get the um, oxidation off of it and and then put your tape back the way it was carefully back over the cap stand in this case it's just over one of them it's just over that um, tensioning device and then on the inside I'd suggest using a tape that's not good and then you can turn your machine back on hit eject and the tape will come out and your uh, well this one tape sticking a little bit but oops I actually did that wrong so that's a good example of, uh, if you don't put it on wrong the tape will come out and you'll have to wind it back up you wind the tape back up by um, pressing this button to open up the top here and then the tapes wind in the opposite direction wind it back up this is a tape that I've already digitized and it's old so it doesn't matter I wind it back up so it's tight and then you're good to go okay and that is uh, how to clean the tape head on a umatic tape player again if you put a tape in to go play it um I'll just, I'll just get a tape for you and i'll show you these um uc uc60 tapes from sony were good they didn't stick too much um so when you go to play the tape you'll have a little space in here just do it one last time cleaning and you will see that the picture gets um, much better you also have controls over here the skew and tracking skew works if the tape is starting to stick a little bit you can skew it a little bit and that will loosen the tensioner a little bit and the tracking is is electronic so um, that should always be in the center if it's cleaned properly but if you don't see a picture don't panic 
just run this back over it a couple times and that will remove the last little bit of oxidation that you cleaned from the grooves. Do it from the bottom up a couple of times and then you'll see the picture correct itself and you'll see your full color. That's how you clean a U-Matic 3 quarter inch 1970s and 1980s and in this case it's a Sony tape player, it's how to do a deep clean.